Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video. Today I'm bringing you a book haul and I've accumulated enough books to do so. So completely, obviously unintentional, um, but without further ado, these are going to be in no particular order. Um, the first I'm going to share with you is actually an arc that I won. I don't really often win things, so this was an absolute surprise. But I entered this at Yelk, um, Anderson Press was doing a giveaway of an arc and I literally had an email recently saying that I'd won and I was like what that's amazing so the arc that I actually won is for Bitterthorn by Kat Dunn so this is a beautiful arc because like the actual like side is like coloured um, but this doesn't actually come out until like May next year which is crazy so and it's a limited edition for, for so I'm really excited so massive thank you to Anderson Press for this that's amazing absolutely amazing so I'm so happy to have it but I will just read to you like what this actual book is about right here because I've got the information here so it says here prepare to enter the seductive world of Bitterthorn Blumwald is a town overshadowed by an ancient curse in a sinister castle in the depths of the wild wood lives a monstrous witch once a generation she comes to claim a companion to return with her but it's never to be seen again the time is drawing near once more mina daughter of the duke is grieving and lonely she has lost all hope of any future for herself at blumwald so when the witch demands her next companion mina offers herself up although she has no idea what fate awaits her stranded with her darkly alluring captor the mystery of what happened to the previous companions draws Mina into the heart of a terrifying secret that could save her life or end it. It sounds so good. And there's loads of like really, really good quotes on the back here by Samantha Shannon saying that they've spun a love story, both intimate and epic. Loved every moment of reading it. Shelley Parker Chan, author of She Who Became a Son, says it's haunting and atmospheric two lost souls finding each other a love that will remake the world it's exquisite um, Ava Reed, the author of The Wolf and the Woodsman said it's a moody and stylish gothic tale that feels both fresh and timeless a masterful meditation on grief, loneliness and terrible love, gutting and unforgettable Catherine Weber, author of Twin Crowns has said it's beautiful and haunting the type of story that seeps into your bones and stays with you long after reading alison saft the author of a far wilder magic has said it's both classic and novel melancholy and tenderly wrought it crackles with passion and warmth like a fire on a long winter night sarah underwood the author of lies we sing to the sea says it feels like it's a fairy tale um, Tori Bovalino, the author of The Devil Makes Three, says it's a delectable, carefully wrought fairy tale full of hope and heart. And Freya Marks, the author of A Marvelous Light, has says um, they have created a deliciously spun cobweb of a fairy tale that slowly unwinds a pattern of secrets, curses, love and betrayal. So it literally sounds like from all of those, there is kind of like a fairy tale with like... I don't know like beauty and romance and all sorts of like things in it just sounds really good just from all of those like reviews from those authors it spurs me on to read it because I just love all this stuff so yes massive thank you again to Anderson Press can't believe I won it and yeah I look forward to reading that at some point okay went to the free bookshelf picked up some free books I love it so so much so the first I've got here um, this is a classic it's A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett I used to read this book so when I found it there I had to get it this is a really old copy because you can tell because on the back it says here UK £1.95 for this book Canada £2.95 USA £2.25 Australia £4.95 Look all those prices and what you think of what they are now like this is crazy so yes Francis Hodgson Burnett is the author of The Secret Garden one of my favorite classics I don't often like classics um, so yes I was really happy to find this on the free shelf and I was like I have to get my hands on it so I think I, I'm trying to see like 
it says here published 1961 so yes this is like oh this is like a granny isn't it but yeah the story of a little princess um sarah crew is sent back from india to school in england she appears to have everything not just wealth but a loving heart and a quick imagination how does she manage when poverty strikes it's a story of magic as entrancing as a secret garden let's let's see about this one and um, yes i'm really happy that i have that one now next of all i picked up this i couldn't help it because it's got a cat on the front it says cleo by helen brown possibly the next money and me how a small black cat helped heal a family that sounds so cute doesn't it cat lovers will be charmed and amused perfect cleo is an uplifting book about love loss and redemption it's a book about a small black feline who helped bring a family even closer together by sheer force of her cat personality it just sounds so cute and adorable so yes couldn't resist that one and then I got here Anna Whitehouse. This is a hardback. Perfect condition. This is called Underbelly. I'd never heard of this book before, but this is what I like about these free bookshelves. I don't think I've ever turned the pages of a book so quickly. It's sharp and emotional. A page turner, up, put down a ball, huge depth, meaning, and heart captures the depth and complexity of female relationships under the glare of social media she doesn't want your life she wants to destroy it i'm sorry but that is what got me for this book so it says here underbelly the soft underside or abdomen of a mammal an area vulnerable to attack a dark hidden part of society low and dylan are living parallel lives and worlds apart low is the ultimate middle class mother all perfectly polished instagram posts and armchair activism dylan is just about surviving on a zero hours telemarketing job from her flat trying to keep food on the table. When they meet at the school gates, they are catapulted into each other's homes and lives with devastating consequences. <laughs> it sounds really good. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one, but I've never heard of it. So if you guys have read it, let me know down below. Then I picked up this chonker, chonker, chonker. Uh, the scandalous classic that defined an era. So this is Lace by Shirley Conran. 3 million copies sold i've never heard of it it is really really fat like literally really fat um it says here which one of you bitches is my mother <laughs> this is what kind of grabbed me too 1980 in manhattan's most exclusive hotel four friends come face to face with a young mega watt film star she has a question for them that has brought her from the streets of paris to the playgrounds of the rich and famous it's almost destroyed her it kind of gives me like gossip girl kind of vibes i don't know why but like and the writing's really tiny too like it's really really tiny so yes um yeah it was just laying there on the shelf really really pretty beautiful cover um so yeah hoping that this is one that i do enjoy when i get around to reading it and then finally i've got here chocolate wishes by trisha ashley this just sounded really cute and something that you read around christmas um so it says here life is sweet for chocolate maker chloe lyon in the picture perfect lancashire village of stickle pond confectioner chloe dispenses inspirational sweet treats containing a prediction for each customer if only her own life was as easy to forecast chloe could have foreseen and been jilted at the altar when a new vicar arrives in the village the rumor mill goes into overdrive not only is raffi sinclair the charismatic ex frontman of the rock band immortal ruin he's also chloe's first love and the man who broke her heart try as she might they can't forgive the blast from the past could this be the time for her to make a wish and dare to believe that it can come true perfect fans of katie ford jill mansell and carol matthews one of the best writers around says katie ford really really cute look at that cover so yeah really really happy with those books that i got from the free shelf um i just always love going to that shelf now and then and picking up books that i think sound really interesting um and yeah i do leave books there myself sometimes so yes i'm really happy i hope you guys have enjoyed this book or if you've read any of these books mentioned then do let me know down below let me know what books you're reading what books you've recently purchased but i hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i will see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video
Bye.